Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I'm going to show you how I transform this room into a stunning master bedroom. As you guys know, I have already completed building a modern sliding door that leads to the master bath and made this gorgeous accent wall with shiplap. Do check them out if you haven't already. I will leave the links below. Alright. In this video, I'm going to build an upholstered headboard, update this metal bed frame, build floating nightstands, add decors and show you the final reveal of this room. First, let's tackle the bed frame and headboard. For years, we have had this king metal frame made by a company called Zynus. It's a very good bed frame for renters and people who move quite often like us. It's easy to assemble and dismantle. Also, it has lots of space underneath to store your things if you do not have space in your home. Anyway, we thought it's time to give an uplift for this frame. So I bought these metal brackets from the same brand that are meant for mounting headboard and side panels. It comes with bolts and fly nuts for easy installation. After installing the brackets, I took the measurements. Based on that, I made the headboard frame first. I bought a 1 by 12 pine board and cut it to length. In my case, 7 to 6 inches. Then I temporarily clamped it to the frame and marked the location where I need to drill holes for the bolts. Once it was secure, I made the cuts for the headboard frame. Basically, I had three requirements for this headboard design. It should have a slant angle in the headboard so that it will be comfortable to lean on while sitting. It should be upholstered with fabric. I don't want to drill any holes on the shiplock accent wall. So I preferred the headboard to be connected to the bed frame rather than wall mounted. Based on this, I made the vertical framing with a 5 degree angle on the upper half and a notch at the bottom so that it can sit on the horizontal stretcher that I had already installed to the bed frame. I made four of these verticals and glued two of them together to make it thicker and stronger. Then install them using L angle brackets. They are positioned about 14 inches from the edge of the bed frame so that the span is not too wide. Then measure the span inside and connect the verticals with two 1x4 horizontal stretchers. This will tie them together and distribute the load of the headboard. I also added additional brackets later for stability. Coming to the headboard. Cut half inch plywood as the headboard base. I rounded the edges by simply tracing a cup on all four sides and cut them with a jigsaw. Then sand the edges to soften them. It's already looking awesome with the wood headboard. I could just stain it or clear coat it. But we wanted an upholstered headboard to make the bed feel cozy. So, I bought this beige color fabric from the local store. Let's upholster the headboard. To do this, you need 1 inch foam, spray adhesive, batting sheet and a staple gun. First, cut the foam by tracing the shape of the headboard. Then glue it to the plywood base.
wrap with the batting sheet and staple it from behind. Now place the fabric upside down on the clean floor. Then place the base on top and begin to wrap and staple. Make sure to pull the fabric tight and staple. Once all the sides are done, I kept them in place and screwed it to the frame. Next, build the side panels. Measure the dimension and cut 1 by 12 primed MDF boards with a miter saw. Also, I made a wood strip and fixed it as a guide and clamped them to mark bolt location. Drill hole and do a rough fit. If everything looks okay, remove and finish with primer and paint. I used Zinsa primer and ultra white paint from Bear. If you want to build a wall mounted headboard, I built one a few years ago and a written tutorial is on my website. I will leave a link to it. After finishing, I fix the side panels to the metal frame. The metal brackets do come with wing nuts and bolt with washer. But you might need to shorten two of those bolts and buy an additional four more washers to install the panels onto those brackets. Now this bed frame and headboard is done, so let's bring the mattress in. Next, the nightstands. I built these simple floating nightstands to go along with the accent wall. Showing you the whole process of building the nightstand will make this video too long. So I've decided to do it as a separate DIY video. And don't worry, I will definitely include free plans and a cut list for it. Design wise, it has a simple drawer and a cubby with a power strip. The power adapters will stay perfectly hidden and the cables will be drawn out of the slot for your use. It's a minimal and modern design for just the necessities near your bed. Next comes my husband's favorite part, the lights. I searched a lot for modern wall lights and this is the one I got from Amazon. The gold finish will look lovely in contrast to the wall color. Unfortunately, this is meant for hard wearing. But you can easily convert this into a plug-in kind. In fact, you can turn any lamp like this into a plug-in lamp. Let me show you how. For this, you need a lamp cord like this and wire connectors. Every lamp has a hot or black wire, neutral or white wire, and this copper one is ground. The plug-in cord also has positive and neutral wires. The ripped wire is the neutral and the other one is hot. You just have to connect both hot wires together and the neutral wires together. The ground will be connected to the metal casing of the lamp while mounting. To keep this cord hidden, I'm routing the cord behind the nightstand through this groove in the shiplap wall. Under the nightstand, this cord goes in through the hole into the power strip cubby. To mount the lamp, first mark on the wall and screw in the bracket. I made a hole on the side of the lamp to take the cord in. Then connect the wires. Tuck them in and install the lamp. Make sure to do a test before mounting the lamp though.
There is one thing this lamp does not have. It has no switch. Well, you could solve that by using a plug-in cord that comes along with a switch. But that would be an eyesore when this light is on. So, I bought this remote controlled switch. It comes with a receiver and a switch that doesn't need any kind of wiring. Simply, you gotta plug the receiver to an outlet, mount the switch anywhere on the wall or on the nightstand or use it as a handheld remote. The cool thing is, the remote also comes with dimmer controls. You can turn the outlet on and off with a simple click. I might paint the switch to wall color and mount it on the wall later. But as of now, this is perfect for a situation here. I also added a LED strip light behind the headboard as an ambient lighting solution for this room. This strip also comes with a receiver and a switch that can be mounted anywhere you want or simply control the light through the app on your phone. Finally, I added curtains, some decor pieces, plants, and bedding. Personally, I do not like cluttering with too many irrelevant items in a space. That is why I keep my decor minimal, balanced, and I try to design furniture addressing the necessities of the user. Everything is done and it's time to show you the transformation. Wow, this room has turned out so well. There is a cozy king size bed with flannel sheets for the winter, simple yet functional nightstands, gorgeous wall lamps, sliding door, ambient lighting, modern mirror vanity unit and there is future scope to build a foot bench and vanity stool. If you want to know the cost of this total makeover, then head over to my blog by clicking the link above. Also, I've got free plans and video tutorials for all the items I built in this room. Thank you for watching this video until the end and I will see you in my next video. Tata bye see you.